But this year's depth chart is going to look very little like the one that started against Clemson in the national championship game. Look at all of the red marks through players who have either graduated, declared, or opted out. LSU is down to just a handful of starters. Ain't going with four starters returning and one who started the national championship game. But still, the LSU fans joining us on college game day, full of optimism because if you're going to have to replace a lot of great players, might as well do it with a lot of talent. We're pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Ed Ogeron. Ed, we've seen the attrition. We've seen the opt-outs. Other than replacing Joe Burrow, which is obvious, what has been the biggest challenge in terms of replacing all the lost talent? Yeah, I think it's getting the LSU standard of performance back with a lot of young players that are very eager. We've done a tremendous job here recruiting for the last three years. I think we have a very talented uh, team, but we're a young team. We don't have a lot of experience. I think that's the biggest key is getting back to playing the way we want to play. We have a lot of young guys that nobody knows about. We feel confident about the talent on our football team. And you've got new coordinators as well, in addition to different players with Dave Aranda moving on to Baylor, Joe Brady moving on. How is all of that meshed together in the early going? I think, first of all, we're worried about the chemistry. The chemistry has been phenomenal. I brought in two veteran coaches that fitted very well on what we're doing. Bo has brought a, a different uh, scheme in the 4-3 scheme. Uh, we had more sacks yesterday than we usually have. We have a lot of pressure. We're very talented on defense. He's an excellent coach. Everybody knows about his coaching prowess. Uh, he's done a lot of things to bring some new energy to our defense. Scott Linehan has brought some new concepts in. He's doing a great job with the receivers. So I'm very pleased with our coaching staff. Uh, Bo Pelini uh, coming in after being a head coach at Youngstown State and now the defensive coordinator at LSU. Uh, Ed, as, as so many teams have across the country, the players have really made their voices heard on uh, subjects relating to social justice. Yeah. Uh, your team marched to the university yeah. president's office. Initially, you didn't know about it, but then you met with yeah. them afterward. Yeah. What resulted from that meeting in terms of the relationship and, and the way you'll yeah. uh, handle things within your program? Yeah, it was eye-opening to me because I haven't experienced the things that they're experiencing. And I had a great talk with Coach Carroll, who's one of my mentors, and it's time for myself and our coaches to be leaders. Uh, this social injustice got to go. Racism got to go. And it's time for us to support our players in any which way we can. They know I totally support them. Uh, we've had speakers this week. We've had talks. We've had leadership council. Uh, we're going to do things as a team to show everybody that we support everything that's going on for our football players. Ed, we appreciate you spending some time with us. Uh, wish you the best of luck. No, we still got a, a few, more, few more days to work before that season opener against uh, Leach and Mississippi State. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers. All right, Ed Ogeron, Coach of the Year last year in the AP and led the Tigers to an undefeated season and a national championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.